Welcome to the channel, y'all. We're gonna just be doing a quick inspection. Uh, I'm David Buchanan, the creative, and I'm here with Shane. Yep, Shane. Uh, today, yeah, we're just doing a general uh, pre-inspection on a truck before the driver has to get out on the road, make sure everything's safe and checks out. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're doing an inspection for a test to get your Class A or your Class B, that's going to be a lot more in-depth. Um, the instructor will be actually testing you, not the truck, but today we're just going to do that pre-trip uh, before the truck goes out and uh, meets requirements for the road. Fantastic. And if there's anything close up that needs to be got, I will get it with this guy right here. Uh, so what's the first thing that a person should do? Um, well, the first thing is just uh, every, most every trucks right now have a, a pre-trip switch inside the dash. And that's going to be right, right in your driver's side door. So I'll, I'll begin with that. That's going to turn your lights on, um, your, your four ways, and, and everything like that. So basically, you don't even have to get in the truck. It's going to be right by your ignition, and the pre-trip pre switch is right there. Um, you can shut it on or off from that switch. Right now, yeah, our, our lights should be on, our four ways all the way around the truck. Um, we will do a, you know, a quick walk around of the truck, just looking for anything hanging, anything leaking underneath the truck. But uh, you also want to uh, open the hood and, and check for anything under there, under there as well. So um, we, can, we can start by opening the hood. And most everything is going to be on your driver's side. You're uh, checking your oil um, and, uh, and checking your belt, your, your fluids and whatnot. So, so yeah, today we have um, mostly Kenworths at, at our dealership, which come in uh, two different engines, the Cummins um, X15 or the Packard MX13 11. Uh, medium duties, we'll have the PX7, PX9. Today we're looking at the MX-13 455 horse um, set up in a dump truck application. So, um, but yeah, right now we can um, look at the uh, engine oil. You'll want to you'll want a rag to uh, wipe off wipe off the uh, existing oil. Put it back down all the way. Bring it back up. And check the check the oil. Right now we are at a safe level, right in between the two marks, towards the top. So, right there is where you're going to want to be. Um, yeah, right now um, I like to when I drove I like to have a have a hammer. You know, we're going to check the tires. A good a good pop on the tires. It it'll, should bounce right back at you. Uh, relatively low tire pressure, it'll it'll sound more hollow and uh, and and things like that. But okay. not every day you don't have to check your brakes. But uh, it's a good thing to just give it a general look um, and see if there's any any flaring on the belts or if there's anything leaking. Um, we're just doing that general general che check before we uh, hop in and get out on the road. So, and if something is going on, then what would be the thing to do? Well, I mean, you'd, you'd want to, you know, have it looked at. If it's something, obviously a major leak or anything like that, you'd want to, you know, have that looked at. If you, if you have a service manager or anything like that in the area, service uh, dealership, I mean, maybe have it looked at, call. Um, they'd be able to tell you if it's, if it's a, an emergency. So, um, most, Leaks or sensors, they should pop up on the screen for trucks right now. But yeah, I mean, it's it's a good thing to you know be more cautious than you know just forget about it. So mm -hmm. okay. if we just want to keep going down the yeah. down the line of the truck, um, we're just gonna you know pop each tire, um, look at the look at the lines, the air lines, and uh, see if there's any bald spots or anything like that that would that would uh, 
Yeah, everything seems good now. Um, get in the back of the truck and look at your, your four ways. It'll be the brake lights, four ways. Um, all the lights on a truck, that pre-trip will, will uh, trigger. So um, we'll just keep on going down the, down the front of the truck. And uh, yeah, not too much on the passenger side. You can obviously check the coolant, make sure that's at a um, up up to the you know level. Um, anything breaks, nothing in the way, nothing, no dirt in the way or anything like that. But uh, um, but other than that, that's a that's a pretty good general pre-trip to uh, to go by. Um, you, you will want to record that. A pre-trip is uh, required to, you know, put uh, be put in to your ELD. Um, if you get stopped, uh, officer can check to see if your pre-trip was done that morning. He might ask you questions um, if you saw anything. If uh, so, so it's just a good good reminder to do for you and for the truck and for everybody out on the road. So inside the truck, there's not there's not too much um, to be concerned about. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and start the uh, engine. Look at the RPMs um, at an idling level. Um, look at the oil temp. Air pressure um, is a, is a key thing. Um, we can we can tap the brakes to see how fast it's going down. Um, this is this is normal as you're seeing the air pressure go down. Um, it is, and that's right here. No, right here. Oh, yeah. The air pressure tanks one and two are primary and secondary. So, good thing to do is um, leak the air um, until in the red, so um, it's so you can see that it's going to build back up in a in a decent amount of time. So, as we can see, it's it's building back up. Um, you can hear the uh, generator running and or the compressor running and uh, it's building back up. Um, should be at about 120 on each uh, primary and secondary. Fu yes, fuel filter, yeah, should be, you know, at a, at a, you know, closer to zero. You don't want that uh, fuel filter to be full. Sometimes uh, in really cold conditions, if it's sitting uh, in a overnight or whatever, it might the diesel might gel up inside a fuel filter. It would read all the way to 20 if it was gelled up um, in that in that type of condition. But <clears throat> yeah, it's just it's just, just a good thing to know your gauges, know your your levels, and know your engine and your truck. All right, Shane. Well, thanks for uh, telling me something about truck inspections. Yeah, this has been very helpful. Yep. No, uh, we can. We can possibly do a different video when it comes time to, you know, go through a, a like a test inspection. If you're trying to get your class A or class B, that's a, a lot more in depth, um, getting to know, you know, all the components. Uh, the instructor wants, wants to know if you um, know the truck, you know, and, and all the, and all the parts as well. So, okay. but, uh, but yeah, today, basically that's a general inspection. What you want to check um, every day every morning so that's fantastic mm -hmm. and if y'all like it please like and subscribe be much appreciated yeah that's it see you in the next one thank you